Are you okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, tell me about yourself in five minutes. Okay. Myself, Switi Subhash Rajput. I am from Aurangabad city of Maharashtra. I have completed my LLB graduation recently with the 78% marks. And uh, I am uh, going to pursue my LLM from NLU college from Aurangabad itself. And uh, my dream is to join JAG. Okay. This is all about your education. Yes, sir. And uh, tell me about your family, your friends, your sports and all, your aim. Okay. Tell me. Right, sir. So, in my family, we are four members, my father, my mother, my younger brother and myself. <coughs> Recently, my maternal uncle is also staying with us for job purpose. Mm. And uh, uh, my friends, I have a huge circle of friends. But uh, there are, uh, I have my two best friends. Mm. Her name is Manisha and Harsha. Oh. And if I pretend you are form, you want to become army officer. Army officer. Yes, sir. Jack Branch. Yes, sir. Good. So you are uh, going to do your LLM also. You are aiming to complete LLM. Yes, sir. I want to complete my LLM. Okay. So you are from Maharashtra, Aurangabad. Yes, sir. Tell me location of Aurangabad. So Aurangabad is located in central western part of Maharashtra state. And uh, it is a big city situated near, to, it is uh, 240 kilometers from Pune mm -hmm. and it is surrounded, it shares its border from Nasik, Jalgaon, Jalna and Ahmednagar district. Oh, I see, okay. So it is a very famous place. Yes, sir. How the name comes? Sir, so, Aurangabad gets its name from uh, uh, ruler Aurangzeb. Mm -hmm. He ruled the Deccan part and he made Aurangabad his capital. So, there come the name Aurangabad. So, he was ruler of South India? Uh, yes, sir. He tried to expand his territory to Deccan part. Mm -hmm. So, he tried to expand his territory yes, to sir. Deccan part. Yes, sir. There were some revolts and all. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, uh, he stayed for some times. Generally, he used to stay at Agra, his capital. But yes. He visited the Deccan area for suppressing some revolts and all. Okay. Okay. So he stayed for a long time at that place, so yes. he named the place as Aurangabad. Right. It is a very famous place. Yes, sir. Yes, yes I sir. want to visit that place. So what are the places I should see? So there are many places to visit in Aurangabad, mm -hmm. uh, like Elora Caves, Ajanta Caves, mm -hmm. Daltabad Fort. Mm -hmm. Bibi Ka Magbara, Panchakki and Aurangabad Caves. Good. Have you seen these places yourself? Yes, sir. I have visited all these places many a times. Achha. Many times? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, with friends or with family, how, how you have visited those places? With everyone, sir. With my family also, friends also, mm. with my relatives also. Right. Okay. Your father is a businessman. Yes, sir. Mother is homemaker. What business your father is doing? So my father is an ex uh, does import and export of batteries, inverters, and UPS. But import and exports. Yes, sir. Okay, brother is studying in which class? So he has com he has completed his twelfth education, uh -huh. and now he is uh, he has taken gap from his education and he chose to go in music. At a, mu a music world. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what type of music he likes, you know? Yes, sir, I know. It's rap music, sir. Rap? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you like music? Yes, sir, I do like music. So, what type of music you like? Classical, all kinds rap, of music, sir. or uh, all, all types? Yes, sir, I enjoy all types. You sing also? <laughs> no, sir, I can't sing. Achha, you don't sing. Okay, no problem. Everybody can't sing? Yes, sir. Okay. You can call me about but yes, singer, maybe. But yes, if you try, you can sing. Huh, definitely, if sir. You, if you practice, you can sing. Okay, your father is businessman. Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me something more about city. Aurangabad uh, city. Aurangabad. It has been given a new name, I heard. Yes, sir. What name? Sambhaji Nagar. Sambhaji Nagar. Who are Sambhaji? 
सर हिज सन ऑफ महाराजा छत्रपती शिवाजी शिवाजी महाराज यस सर ग्रेट लीडर्स ऑफ सो टेल मी टू टू क्वालिटीज ईच ऑफ योर फादर एंड मदर व्हिच यू लाइक ओके सो टू मेन क्वालिटीज ऑफ माय फादर सो इट इज वेरी हार्ड टू जस्ट टेक टेल टू क्वालिटीज ऑफ माय फादर ही इज अ वेरी हार्ड वर्किंग पर्सन अ वेरी हम्बल मैन जेंटल डाउन टू अर्थ अ वेरी फ्रेंडली पर्सन वेरी फ्रेंडली गिव मी एग्जांपल हाउ यू कैन से इज वेरी फ्रेंडली so i can share anything and everything with my father mm. and he listens to me very patiently mm. i can tell him anything like i don't have to think twice mm. ki should i say this should i ask this mm-hmm. like anything so okay two quality jo of your mother uh my mother is a very simple person a sweet person mm. she is very quiet and humble mm. she so, hardly gets angry on me oh, oh my god your both father and mother both are very humble yes right? sir and very friendly yes sir so you are you, you should be very lucky you know i am sir okay so uh, if you sit down with your father and mother do you discuss some family affairs with them yes sir acha very nice it means so uh, uh do they seek your advice because see you are you have done llb going to yes. do llm do they seek your advice on some matter family affair matters or some social matters definitely sir acha they seek advice yes sir okay very nice okay your brother uh he is going in music field yes sir he sings also ha huh, yes sir acha he make his own music rap nice. and sing okay so he is very uh, you can say if he is going to going into the music field then he is a creative person yes sir other than this yes, other than this what you have seen in him other qualities which you like uh so like this younger generation he is very active boy he loves to go out mm-hmm. he has a huge friend circle mm-hmm. and is always ready to help mm-hmm. others like uh, he is a good friend to have your understanding with brother your bonding with brother kaisa hai didi bhaiya or friendly kaisa how definitely sir it is friendly it is friendly uh, he calls me tai that is in marathi didi what he calls you tai tai in marathi tai we mean? call uh, tai for didi acha i see so very good But, bonding uh, yes sir definitely as any brother and sister we fight also many a times acha okay nice Now tell me about your friends. Uh as I said earlier sir I have a very huge circle of friends. Men I have many friends but if I just have to list two or three names I will name Manisha and Harsha. Manisha and Harsha. Harsha these two are very close friends. Yes sir. Okay Manisha what she is doing now? Uh Manisha has completed her MCOM mm-hmm. and uh, she is married right now but also she is doing a uh, job for, from work to home. That's all. Doing some job. Yes, sir. So Manisha is married now. Yes, sir. Okay. So still you talk? Ha, huh, yes. Both sir. of you? Yes, sir. On mobile and all. On mobile also. And do you meet sometimes? Yes, sir. She's uh, recently married. Okay. So. Okay. She's uh, right now. She's in Aurangabad. Generally, when you talk, you talk on what matters? Uh, what sir. topics? Uh, sir, many topics hmm. like. Uh, we uh, we have to go out mm. for outings parties mm. to visit new places for shopping mm. if like we have any um, problems mm. any query we share with each other we ask and uh, m- many many topics sir what i pay you must be sharing many things yes between sir. you okay uh, other friends name harsha you told yes, harsha what she is doing So Harsha has completed her B Pharma. Okay, tell me her two qualities which you like. So she is very sweet person, humble person, mm. caring person, mm. and uh, she is always there to hear me whenever I need any advice or I just want to tell someone mm. this this has happened with me mm. or right now I am going through this phase. Mm. Like I share my problems with her, mm. and also she uh, she shares her problems with me. Like if she needs anything, like any advice or guidance, so. Mm. Yes, so, we discuss all those things. Okay, she seeks your advice also. Hmm. Many a times. Okay, 
Okay, nice, very nice. Because you are, you know, uh, advocate now. Yes, sir. So yes, your profession is to give <laughs> advice to others. Yes, sir. she believes <laughs> I give good advices. Ah. Okay, very nice. Other than these friends, do you have some special friend? I mean, do you have a boyfriend? No, sir. I don't have. You a don't boyfriend. have any boyfriend. No, sir. Why don't you have a boyfriend? Mm. Maybe I didn't find my match, sir. Okay, you couldn't find your match of your <laughs> liking, you know. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, very nice. Okay, so uh, tell me, uh, see, I see your uh, PIQ form. You got eighty point eight zero percent in yes. class ten and fifty eight point seven seven percent in class twelve. There is too much drop in marks. Something happened. What happened? Why did you got less marks in class 12? Mm -hmm. I can't say there is any uh, big reason, sir. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, I might have been, been a bit overconfident mm -hmm. the, that uh, I scored 80.80% 80 .80 without studying much, without mm -hmm. giving much hard work in 10th standard. Mm -hmm. So I'll score good in 12th also. Mm -hmm. I didn't uh, thought that it will be hard for me. Mm -hmm. So, and... Uh, Physics were and chemistry were my subjects, mm -hmm. and they were not my favorite subjects. I didn't used to like them, so I didn't. But study still, much. you know, so much drop indicates something. Where the energy has gone, actually, either he enjoyed in your class generally what the students do. After it being, you know, uh, good marks in class ten, they some of them start enjoying in class eleven. So actually, actually, what did you do? enjoyed with friends or got involved in some other activities on some creativity something has happened so tell me act exactly what happened you didn't concentrate on the studies if you didn't concentrate to concentration where it went how can you i can't this? pinpoint any single reason because i didn't have any single reason actually. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, as I said, so I have a big circle of friends, so we used to go out. Mm -hmm. and so basically, I think you enjoyed more when you were in class Yes, sir, I, I didn't pay that much attention Because once you were start enjoying in class 11 for just 3-4 months, you can't catch up with the things, okay. Right. Now, tell me, when you were at home, uh, Generally, uh, you must be helping your parents sometimes. Yes, sir, definitely. I help. In which way you like to help your parents? What do you do? Uh, so I do cooking. I enjoy cooking. So I help my mother in, in cooking, in cooking meal. Cooking meal. Yes. Sir. Okay. Nice. It's, uh, sometimes cleaning house. Uh, have you done swabbing? Sorry, sir. Have you done swabbing of the house? Poncha. Yes, sir. You have done it? Yes, sir. Achha. Have you washed the utensils? Yes, sir. Okay. Not on a regular basis, hmm. but sometimes I do that. Okay. Can you cook all vegetarian food uh, uh, dishes? Mostly, sir. I can cook. Mostly. Veg yes, sir. Okay. You are four members yes, in the family. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm giving you a task. Okay. Uh, yes, a vegetable of uh, potato and cauliflower. Huh? Yes, sir. That tariwara sabdi has to be cooked. Okay, sir. So, by teaspoon, how much salt you are going to put? Three spoonful or four spoonful, kitna salt char admi ka sabji mein, you are going to put? Uh, so, in my uh, masala tin, we don't have any teaspoon or uh, tablespoon. Mm -hmm. It is a steel spoon. So, and as I said, I'm cook uh, I love cooking. I do cooking from many, t uh, I'm doing it since long time. So, I have a idea. So, I put roughly. One and half spoon. One and half. Yes, sir. Okay. So I hardly need any. Do you do you, do you cook non veg foods also? Uh, so I don't uh, eat non veg. I'm a vegetarian. Mm. I cook egg. Okay, okay. I can make a good egg curry, sir. Okay, nice. Okay, now let us talk about your school. So. How were your days in classes? Mane, you felt it enjoyable 
or felt it tough, comfortable with you know classmates, or scared of teachers. How were the classes? Uh, so my school time was my best time, best time of my life. Mm -hmm. I used to enjoy a lot in school. I was active, a very active person in school. Mm -hmm. I have participated in almost all the activities conducted mm -hmm. in my school, and I was also a naughty. Acha naughty. Yes. Anyway, which teacher you liked the most up to class ten? Actually, and which teacher scolded you the most oh. up to class 10? Uh, so, which teacher I like the most? I can't name any one teacher, sir. I have many teachers whom I like the most. Like Fatima Miss, Lumina Miss, Himan sir, Gaikwad sir. So, uh, I have a great bonding with all my teachers. Mm -hmm. And this uh, scolded me. Almost everyone has scolded me for some or some reason, sir. Okay. okay. Uh, did you dislike any teacher? No, sir. No? No, sir. You didn't dislike at all? Sometimes I used to feel, feel bad if they have scolded me. But then I realized that they are scolding me or if shouting at me. So it's for my good only. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay. See, sometimes it happens. The teacher has not come in the class due to certain emergency. Okay. He got fever or something. Yes. And no arrangement could be made from principal side. So the class went blank. It might have happened with you at least three, four times. It might have happened oh, that yes. no teacher has come. So during that period, what did you do generally? You started studying or started enjoying with friends and gossiping or went to library or went to sports field. Actually, what did you do? So, mostly I used to chat with my friends. Chat with friends? Yes, sir. Okay. Nice. Discuss okay. any things if you want. Like if you have watched any movie okay. or have bought new things or we have went out. So, we used to discuss that with friends. What did you play during these school days? Uh, so many games, uh, many games I have played in my school time, mm -hmm. like uh, running, tug of war, mm -hmm. kabaddi, mm -hmm. badminton. Kabaddi, kabaddi, uh, you played. Yes, sir. Can you tell me some in kabaddi some big names in Indian team? Yes, sir. Uh, exactly. Tell me. Uh, so Pardeep Narwal mm -hmm. and uh, Anup Kumar. Nice. So how many players are there in one team? So there are. Two, uh, 12 players mm -hmm. in each team and uh, 7 uh, players play and 5 are reserved ones. Mm -hmm. so, what is bonus point in Kabaddi? Sorry sir? What is bonus point in Kabaddi? Bonus point? There is bonus line, no? Okay, bonus point. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I am unable to recall it, sir. Uh, when there are more numbers of players in a Poji team, like more than 5, you know, and they are member of a Boji team comes raiding so line touch karta hai na? he touches the line then gets bonus point something okay, okay. yes sir yes huh. sir if a raider is ra uh, doing a raid huh. in opponent team so if he touch that uh, line hmm. so it's called a he gets bonus point yes uh -huh. sir. there are certain conditions that itna in a Poji team at least itna members have to be there. Yes, sir. If it then if it touches the line, the other leg, other leg has to be near. Hmm? Yes, sir. So yes. I think uh, since long you have not played. Sir, ye yes, sir. I, I used to play it on my, at my school. Hmm. Achha, badminton also you have been playing, no? Yes, sir. Hmm. Tell me some big names in badminton in, in our country. Yes, sir. It's Jwala Gutto, hmm. PV Sindhu, hmm. and uh, Saina Nehwal. Mm -hmm. Who is the present star of the country in badminton? Saina Nehwal. Is it not P.V. Sindhu? Yes, or P.V. Sindhu. Yes. P.V. Sindhu also. Okay. Okay. Upper so, Edna. see, you have been taking part in uh, debates also. Hmm? Yes, sir. Even taking part in drama also. Yes, sir. Very nice. Very creative. Good? Okay, nice. So, debates. You have been taking parts. Yes, sir. Allocation. So, let us, let us debate. Okay, sir. Now, you have to debate with yourself. Okay. Okay. You are, I mean, uh, you know, the uh, point of debate will be uh, reservation in government sector, job reservation in government sector. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, pro-reservation and anti-reservation. 
both parts you are going to play. Okay. So give me two points pro jo pro job reservation. Yes. Sir. For SC, ST, and OBC. Yes. Sir. And two points against the reservation. So first tell me two points pro reservation. Pro reservation. Uh, as the reason for providing reservation is upliftment of the low, uh, SEBC, that is socially and educationally backward class, who are uh, who are unable to present themselves and who lacks the uh, representation for themselves. So this was the main motto to uh, give them the reservation. And uh, second uh, pro is that uh, to uplift them, mm -hmm. to may give them equal rights and opportunities mm -hmm. so that they can compete with the other members of the society. Mm -hmm. oh, give me two points against reservation. Against mm -hmm. reservation is so, uh, as we can see many people even who are educated and have a good social status mm -hmm. even though they belong to uh, SEBC, mm -hmm. they have uh, accomplished now but even though they are using reservation and uh, many people who actually needs the reservation who are unaware and who uh, d don't get proper uh, representation they are lacking behind they are not getting it so the the main motto of it is not fulfilled mm -hmm. so that is con of it mm -hmm. and uh, also may, uh, political parties are just using the reservation for their ulterior motives mm -hmm. so this should be eliminated mm -hmm. don't you feel that uh, reservation kills merit uh, so it is a debatable topic mm -hmm. we could have a debate debate on it mm -hmm. as it is uh, as you said sir it has both pros also and cons also mm -hmm. so yeah. okay yes. so who taught you English in class 10? Who was your favorite teacher in class 12? How much uh, you got in class 12 in your favorite subject? Who was the principal when you left the school? Uh, what is the population of your city according to 2011 census? Who is mayor of your city? How many districts are there in Maharashtra? Who is chief minister of Maharashtra? Do you like your chief minister? If yes, why? If not, why not? Then who is national security advisor of the country? Who is defense minister? And uh, what is the highest rank in army? Who is chief of army staff? How many commands are there in army? And name some war fighting equipments of Indian army. Answer the questions. Yes, sir. So my English teacher was Fatima Miss. And my, the, the name of principal when I left my school was uh, Father Walter Gonsalves. Okay. And my favorite subject was uh, uh, English mm -hmm. in class 10th and I scored 80 marks in that subject. Mm -hmm. And uh, my uh, districts in Maharashtra you asked. So there are 36 districts mm -hmm. and uh, population of Aurangabad, so I'm unable to recall it properly. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, 1 million. Mm, sorry, sir, okay, I'm an, uh, unable okay. to recall okay, the population move on, properly. Move on. Mm -hmm. Another question was Defense Minister is Rajnath Singh, and uh, the highest rank in army is Field Marshal. Okay, uh, tell me some names of war fighting equipments of Indian Army. Okay. Yes, sir. So, submachine guns, mm -hmm. AK 47, AK 57, mm -hmm. and uh, Rifles mm. and uh, in tanks we have uh, uh, Arjun tank, mm. T90 Bhishma mm. and uh, T72 Ajay tank. Mm. Okay, so other than your course books, do you read some newspaper, some journal, some story books? Have you this habit? Uh, so I have read some story books mm. in my school times. We have a uh, we ha we had a library in school. Mm. So I used to uh, read some small story books. Mm. And uh, in uh, in school times, I remember I was gifted a book in on Christmas mm. Eve. It uh, it name was the Adventures of Heroes. Mm. So that book I remember. It was a very uh, it was a good book. So it was it was about uh, how an ordinary man by exceeding his limit and uh, ag he fought against all the circumstances mm -hmm. and uh, unfavorable events and made himself an extraordinary person. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, do you remember 
the name of the publishing company of that book? Oh, sorry, sir, I don't remember it. You read some newspaper? So right now uh, I'm not reading any newspaper. Mm. I'm uh, following a YouTube channel for news and current updates. Acha, not physical newspaper. No, sir. Okay. Were you involved some quarrelling type type situation or any brawl at the school or outside? Did it ever happen with you? So uh, <coughs> small quarrels. With friends. Small quarrels. Yes, sir. Normal. So after the quarrels, there have been some, you know, four five days. Bad thing. Kya hoga usse? Ah, not four five days, sir. But uh, one two days hota tha. Yes, we used to stay upset with each other, and then automatically, hmm. we used to start our conversation. Oh, nice. Okay. Can you give me the names of seven sister states of India? Yes, sir. Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Tripura, Meghalaya, Mizoram, and Manipur, Nagaland. Okay. Uh, tell me the names of any present five chief ministers of India. Uh, so I'll start from uh, UP, sir. Mm -hmm. Yogi Adityanath. Mm -hmm. Maharashtra right now it's Eknath Shinde, and in Bihar it is Nitish. Kumar and in West Bengal Mamta Benazi mm. and uh, in Delhi Arvind Kejriwal mm. in Tamil Nadu M K Stalin mm. and in Andhra Pradesh uh, some Mohan uh, Reddy sorry sir okay. I am unable to recall his name okay okay no problem okay okay tell me why you want to become a military officer when you can earn so much if you start practicing after your LLM in a high court or supreme court. You can earn lot of money. You know, I know some advocates are earning in crores. Yes, sir. This much money you can't get as a military officer. Still, why you want to become? Uh, so there is not any single reason why I, I want to join army. Uh, there are three to four reasons I can name, which made me think that yes, I can go in army. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with uh, one main reason, sir. I always. Uh, army officers have always been in, been an inspiration to me. Mm. Like I, I have always adorned them whenever I have seen them in their uniform. Mm. So this is one reason that they have always been an inspiration. Mm. Like they work so hard mm. for our country and serve our country. Because of them, we are safe. We civilians are safe. Mm. That yes, if anything happens, any war. Uh, uh, has happened or taken place, we are safe. Our mm. army men will protect us. Mm. So this is one of the main reasons, sir. And um, second reason is, sir, there's no one in a, from defense background in my house or in my extended family members. Mm. So second is that reason because uh, we don't have any defense person. Mm. So that is one motivation that, yes, one person should go in defense. Mm. And the third reason I can say I just heard one time my father saying that uh, government job is a good job. Sure. Like uh, they always uh, look for a government servant if they want to marry me. So it will be a government servant mm. and especially uh, army man mm. or defense person. So, so that made me think that if they can, uh, like if they want me to get married with some, uh, this person, so why, why can't be I that person? Mm. Why I can't be that person? So that is one motivation. Mm, that nice. yes, sir. Good. Okay, yes. And also the dedication, determination they have for our country, mm. that do or die spirit for the nation. So what is the post market area in Aurangabad? Uh, what market, sir? Post market area. Post market area. So we have Pro Prozone Mall in Aurangabad. Prozone Mall. Yes, sir. Okay, there is situation. Harshita, yeah, Harsha is your friend. Harsha, yes. Okay, one day we have gone for shopping, some small things. Yes, sir. With Harsha. Yes, sir. The time is 7 o'clock evening. Yes, sir. Coming after shopping, outside the mall, two lads are just moving around, sort of chap type. Yes, sir. They start commenting upon you. One of them, you know, pulled chunni of Harsha. What will you do? 
So definitely I'll give him a tight slap there and then only mm-hmm. and will scold him mm-hmm. and also will make a complaint of him. Make a complaint of him. Yes sir. Advocate wala kaam karna. Hmm. Okay. If he realizes his fault and apologize mm-hmm. then it's okay but even if then also he is not listening to me or uh, not behaving well then I'll definitely take him to police. Okay. Nice. See during covid period two serials were coming Ramayana and Mahabharata. Yes sir. Did you watch the serials? Yes sir. Did you watch? Yes, okay. Yes sir. You have watched okay nice. So you know both the stories. So yes, actually which story you like? So Ramayana. Ramayana. Why you like Ramayana more than Mahabharat? Uh so in Mahabharat it ha- wo- it is mainly about war. Mhm. So I keep myself away from war and all. War to is maybe hai in Ramayana. Yes sir, also? yes sir. Mm-hmm. Definitely yahan pe bhi hai war. But uh, also the learnings, the values, mm-hmm. morals that i get from ramayan hmm. that connects me more hmm. who is your uh, favorite character in ramayana uh, so uh, there are many characters but hmm. uh, but who is your most favorite most favorite character will be lord ram lord ram for what so uh, i can't describe his one or two qualities hmm. uh, he is himself an epitome of qualities hmm. so he is a great example of how a son should be hmm. a husband should be an idol husband should be an idol king and a great person overall a great brother oh. and a great human being do you think he'll be selected so definitely sir okay thank you thank you very much okay you may leave thank you sir dekho it was very nice so uh Actually, it's maybe not rapid fire. These are called comprehensive questions. Okay. When these questions are being asked, you have to be more attentive. Yes, sir. And as soon as first question is, is asked, don't start thinking about this answer. Listen to the questions carefully. Yes, sir. And get them into your mind in serial. Yes, sir. Serial wise. And when the interviewing officer tells you to answer the question, start serially. Okay, and uh, never get pressurized for this. Yes, sir. And questions are very small. Ninety-five percent answers you know, so don't worry about answers. Yes, sir. Start answering as far as possible. Try to answer according to the serial. Yes, sir. Okay, at least if you are able to answer sixty to seventy percent questions serially, it's fine. And yes, sir. And after that, from wherever you remember, you can answer. Yes, sir. And if you think that you have left out some questions yes, then say confidently yes, yes, sir i think i have left some questions if yes, he could repeat i will answer now it depends upon him whether he repeats or not right sir okay so this is how you should go about it yes sir okay. i'll take care of that sir and uh, then yes many questions i have not asked yes sir because it is not possible to ask many types of questions to only one candidate yes sir. okay so i think you are fine be confident keep yes, smiling yes sir all the best thank you sir okay